Where's Lorenzo? Lorenzo couldn't make it. You guys make it down over the border? You got the stuff? Yeah, we just got back from Tewksbury. I got the stuff, yeah. Yeah? Yeah? Yeah. 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 Check this out. Here you go, boss. What the fuck is this? Hey, what's that in his pocket right there? Still got it. <laughs> we got the world's dankest beer, and they never caught us. <laughs> so what are we doing? We're stealth camping, a car show, and a Lamborghini. I got a real good buddy, dude. He wanted to play along, so he brought his Lambo out and his Porsche, dude. That was my son playing a bad guy, driving a red Porsche. He's stealth camping with me. I brought a super dank beer, man. They tried to get their hands on it, didn't happen. We're gonna try that out. Stealth camping, a car show, and a Lamborghini. Thanks for coming along, I think you'll like this one. Look, I brought the bad guy, man. He's here, we're gonna go stealth camp. We're gonna, um, we're just gonna dip into the woods. I'm at a trailhead. It's a little mountain that people like to hike. And there's some other cars nearby. A lot of cars going by, man. Um, but we're just gonna dip into the woods and set up camp. Over here. The car show is on top of the mountain, right over there, dude. So there's a hiking trail that leads to the top of that mountain. We're stealth camping a car show on top of a mountain and a Lamborghini. hear that but the, the hikers they're coming down the trail right over there there's a berm over there and you can really see the road from here but we're a little low so I think we'll, we'll be able to have a fire it's kind of crummy we'll have to clean up the, the floor a little bit but this will work we're gonna set it up I'm gonna set up the tarp I'm gonna go from that tree to, to that tree over there no wait that one and uh, set the tarp up, man. You ready? Put it on. But the first thing I'm gonna do is get off this Gambino family tracksuit, man. It's not the most comfortable in the woods. I don't know if I, I don't know if I got the length I'm gonna need. Coming up a little short, man. I get some more. I got some more. Hey guys, we're gonna sing, all right? Remember, we're doing a uh, top. Dude, you gotta be careful of dodging acorns, man. We're doing a taut line hitch. Ready? Once, twice, three times a lady. There you go, see that? Now you can just pull it out. So what knot uh, should we use to attach two pieces of line together? That's a square knot. Left over right, right over left. Square knot. All right, let's tighten it up. 
Look how tight that is. Look how tight that is. There you go. Open it up. Nope. Just drape it over the. Drape it over the whole thing. You're awfully bright in that white, man. Do it halfway. All right, we got room. Yep. Make a toggle. That'll work, right? We'll stake this side down. We'll hang that one up, but I don't know how. Not a lot of trees around. We'll just stake it into the ground, all right? All right. And dodge acorns. So we're still really close to that road. So I was thinking maybe we go get some of those rocks over there and we'll make a little fire circle. I don't know where. Where do you think? In somewhere, definitely behind the berm, so I hope you can see us for sure. Somewhere, here, it's pretty clear, like here, yeah. We gotta stay below that road. We're still pretty close. What's up? How many you got? Three. One more. Dennegan. What was it? Dennegan. Oh, it sounded like one. It was messed up, huh? He pulled over right there. Of course he did, man. They always pull over right where I'm at, man. I was a little like, oh no. There's really no shortage of firewood, man, so I'm just gonna grab some and stop breaking it. Evan's cutting some. Don't play with knives, children. <laughs> so somebody just stopped to um, go hiking. I could hear the car door. I swear I just heard another one, man. I can only talk when other cars are coming.
So Mrs. Hobby made some uh, sauce recently. We got some sauce, fresh homemade sauce, man. We're making chicken parm, man. Is there anything more Italian than a Lamborghini and chicken parmesan and Columbus Day? What do you think, Ev? I don't think you can top it. Nope. Nope. She gave us some extra meatballs and sausage too, man. Thanks, Mrs. Hoppy. Cold. Mm -hmm. Look at that. Meatballs. There we go. Let's eat. Oh. Yeah. All right, I'm eating, man. I'm going to eat. Mmm. Meatballs are still good. I have a knife, but I'm using it. Let me know if you need it. Dude, this is good, man. How is it? Yummy. Mmm. Messy. Messy. I don't think I got any sausage. I'll say you put a piece on it. say you put a piece on it. I haven't seen it. Is it good? What? Oh, no. Man down. That's savable. I eat that. All right, we're going to eat. Good. Hey, guess what time it is? It's hoppy hour. Let's do this, man. Remember that car chase today? That's because I had the dankest beer on the planet. Today, I bring you I Have Promises to Keep by Treehouse. Out of like Tokesbury Mass, they're out of uh, Sandwich Mass. They just, they just bought a golf course. They're, they're exploding, man. Treehouse, dude, I had this beer like 10 years ago. Haven't seen it since. Buddy of mine just went down there. Actually, the buddy in the video, man, he's the one who brought it. Dude, super excited. This is such a good beer. What'd you bring? I brought this very uh, interesting flavor called cherry lime. It's a uh, body armor flavor. Mm, body armor, mmm. Dude, lot of coyotes. We got a pack of coyotes out there, man. They're close. Did you guys hear that? Did you hear them? I heard them. Dude, they're close, man. That was cool. I haven't heard coyotes in a while. Yeah, you've never heard them in the wild. It says it's a New England double IPA, and um, it's 7.9%. What's your, what's your percentage? I think zero. Zero. Wow, dude. Oh, this is so good. Like it's just, it's like pure guava, like mango. Oh man, this is what great beers are, are like made of, man, right here. This is one of the best beers. Dude, it's like the best beer I've ever had. Really? Yep, yep. I can't believe how good this is. It like, it's, it stays on your palate, like I always say. It's just smooth. It doesn't, it, does, it fades smoothly. Oh my God. God. It's got a little bit of grapefruit in there. Some uh, mango, little bit of that acidic citrus bite, but not too much. It doesn't hit you in the back of the throat because it's just too smooth for that. You guys see how cloudy it was? Look at that haze, man. Evan, this is a fantastic beer. Really? Yes, yes. This is definitely one of the best beers on the planet. This is a beer that I could drink all the time. I'd love it. I, they never make it. I, I really wish they would more. Um, but I'm so glad my buddy brought it, dude. Thanks, Pete. You guys saw Pete today. He was in the uh, the car chase, man. He wasn't in the car chase. He was in the boat with me. <laughs> I 
Big fan of the channel, dude. Thanks, buddy. This is fantastic. Untapped. Follow me, untapped. Real Hoppy Camper. What sayeth ye, Hoppy? Dude, this one's easy, man. I, 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 like, I knew it going in. This is a 4.75 all day. Every time, man. 1.75. That's high. That's high, man. I've never gone higher. You tried the body armor yet? I don't think I have. No, well, let's go, man. Let's go. Cherry lime flavor. Never had it. It's got a nice red, dark red color to it. Ooh, amber. Ooh. Oh, that's good. Is it good? Oh, yeah. It has a uh, nice lime flavor, but the cherry flavor really sticks around to the end. Like, you get a hint of lime at the start, and then you swallow it, and it has a nice cherry. <laughs> cherry, cherry pop. Cherry pop. It's cherry pop. So what sayeth ye, Hoppy Jr.? I definitely would rate it a, uh, probably a 4.15. Whoa. It's pretty high on the scale. That's, that's, that's a lot, yeah. man. I know. So what's your username on Untapped? Real Hoppy Camper. Junior. Yeah. <laughs> I told you, I knew it going in, dude, what this one was going to get. I had some last night with my buddy. Not too many, though, because we had a big day today. We had a big day today. We were getting chased and everything. Ch we were getting chased? He's a bad guy. I am. You were a bad guy. How did I not camp stealth camping with a bad guy? Talked him down. Yeah, we became friends. So, that's what happened, man. How was that for trickery, huh? <laughs> I should have reviewed this, man. You should have. Got a, like, 1.2. I should have done this? Yeah, I would have gotten, like, a 0.2. 0.2. <laughs> That coyote's not far, man. Maybe 150 yards. He's alone, but he's close. So does everybody know what like um that that comes from, man? I have promises to keep. So it comes from um a Robert Frost poem, "Stopping by Woods on a Snowy Evening." So Robert Frost, the poet laureate of New Hampshire, man, I, my favorite poet, man. Uh, I just love him. He's all about the north, the the, the New England woods, man, which is kind of like what I'm about. So he ends the poem, it's a long poem, but he ends it with, uh, the woods are lovely, dark and deep, but I have promises to keep and miles to go before I sleep. Yeah, pretty. you can just picture that scene, man. He's brilliant at setting the scene of, of the woods that I spend a lot of time in. It's awesome. I love that dude. I got a book on his work. He's my favorite poet, man. It's probably why it's my favorite beer, man. And that's why there was a car chase. Did you guys like that? I gotta say, a lot of a lot of cogs went into this wheel, man. I had a lot of people contributing. I wanted to say thank you to them. Like, you guys did an awesome job. First, like Danny, like dude, you're the best, man. So I went to school with this dude. Uh, I went to high school with him. So I've known him for like 33 years, man. and we won states in basketball. It was it was awesome, man. And he was a he was a big player in that. He played a big part. He was awesome at everything, and he's awesome at this, man. He's been awesome at life, and uh, it's awesome that he's my friend, dude, and that we've stuck together. Like we we diverged, you know, in a in a wood, and I took the path less traveled. Do you like that? <laughs> Anyway, he, he just went a different route, dude. The dude's got two Lamborghinis, so I'm winning at life, and so is he. And he let me drive the Diablo today. That was so badass. I had a blast today. I had so much fun, man. So much fun. And then Pete, dude, he was with me on the boat, and he also, dude, it was like, he checked a box too, man. He always wanted to be a part of a hobby camper video, so. <laughs> I brought my son. Shh, I should be quieter, dude. He's sleeping. He's sleeping right there, man. 
but he did awesome too. I really think he's coming in, into his own. And um, but when I was his age, if somebody put a camera in my face, I'd be giggling the whole time, man. He didn't care. Like so much fun. Like I had a lot of build up to today. Uh, and I actually, I was gonna have a couple other people working, but they kind of bailed. So I was like, Danny, dude, I, I don't know if I can put it together. And he wouldn't let me bail. He's like, no, we're doing this. It was a big production. We had a lot of people involved and it actually went way over budget. Well, how does that happen, man? I'll tell you how, man. I had a drone go in the water, man. A drone went dloop into the drink and I needed a drone quick. You know, we had some production plans for today and I needed a drone, so that was kind of a bummer. <laughs> like today was one of the best days of my life, man. Yep, like top five, man. Everything came together and worked out and the people that like are so important to me like came together and I, I dude I appreciate every one of you. Thanks Danny. Thanks Pete. Thanks Evan. Thanks Mrs. Hoppy. This took a lot. I hope you liked it man. Dude one of the wild quirks of the uh, the Diablo he has to take his shoes off because that you can't your feet don't fit in that wheel well with your shoes on. You can't grab the clutch the gas and the brake with shoes on. <laughs> like it's so Italian man. I could fit with my shoes, my, my Tommies. You see those Tommy shoes? How badass were those, man? I got those on a, on, a, on a pier in 1999 in South Korea. And I've worn them, that's the third time I've ever worn them. So this was a special occasion, man. It's quieted down a lot. I've had some owls, but of course I wasn't filming. And uh, coyotes, it's like 22.30. Dude, falls here, man. It's, we're gonna talk to the prognosticator this weekend. Cause it's everything Italy, right? Chicken parm, Lamborghinis. Columbus Day weekend, dude. So I'm gonna talk to, pro to the prognosticator. I'm, I feel like, dude, if this ain't peak, we're pretty damn close. So I'm gonna check in with him. Stay tuned, okay? Also, get, get some swag, man. See that? Limited edition fall gear. Check it out, hobbycampernh.com. I think you'll find something you, you're gonna like, man. I'm tapping the mic. Today was a long day, dude. I'm gonna peace out. I'm just gonna finish this beer, this awesome, awesome beer. And I'm gonna peace out, all right? Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you in the morning. Good morning, guys. So, it rained last night, um, but I, I brought everything under the tarp so it's dry. You can start seeing some of the nice cars going by, like the old classics and stuff. So, car show's happening, sun's coming out. I'm gonna make some coffee and then we'll, uh, then we'll get moving, man. Evan's still sleeping. Teenagers. The pretty cars, man. See, some old Porsches. Dude, that thing was wild, man. Did you see that? That's a steam-powered car. That was wild. He emerges. Good morning. Good morning, Hoppy. Well, that's not happening. <laughs> Just got some bagels. I'm gonna do the everything bagel. Evan's warming his up. A little cream cheese, like cheddar jalapeno. Oh yeah. Mmm. So the coffee failed miserably. Well, the coffee mug did. So I'll just drink it straight from this, man. It was Evan's buddy going by. <laughs> That's funny. It's Evan's buddy. I'm gonna get into the woods again. Tell him to stay hidden, man. Stay hidden. Don't get seen. I just beeped at him.
<laughs> Look at him run. He, he's running. <laughs> Hello, Tyrus. How are you? I'm amazing. How are you? Good. Very good. Hey guys, thanks for coming along as I came with a real good buddy of mine, Danny. He took me out stealth camping in a Lamborghini Diablo. Do me a favor, if you like what you're watching, smash that like button, subscribe, would you? Give me them subbies! Subscribe to get more content like this. This channel's growing with help like this and buddies like this, dude. What a blast, man. I'll see you out there.